Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Uh, Five dollars can get you a lot in life. Gets you a few packs of crisps, uh, Pringles if you will. It can get you a sandwich, it can get you sticks of gum. It can get you other things that you don't have to eat for instance. <laughs> but what if five dollars got you this box? This tiny box. But what comes in the box? Well, today I'd like to talk about... <laughs> Shitty intro, I know. Today I want to talk about the VE Monk. Now this is $5. These are earbuds. I have not used earbuds in over a decade. Earbuds are what used to come with my 1990s Sony Walkman. I used to use them because I didn't know any better. Earbuds were something I didn't think I'd ever go back to for their obvious flaws. Sony Panasonic earbuds from my youth, but these are not just mere earbuds and for five dollars These are an opportunity you really can't pass up if you're into high-end audio, so uh, There's not really much to unbox. So I'll just put this to a side it comes with three of these cards This is venture electronics Own little bit of advertising a bit of information you can get some information on the back so this company was started by a guy who goes by, on Facebook at least, Wild Lee. Now he's a pretty colorful figure, uh, speaks his mind and, you know, not afraid to speak his mind and just uh, talk with fans and, you know, disapprove of fans if he needs to. But, you know, that's why he's unique in the audio industry. And he came up with this idea to release high quality five dollar earbuds. Now this is not all that Venture Electronics make. They're not just one trick ponies. They have earbuds that are $78, $150 for instance. They have, they sell electrostatic amplifiers for like a thousand seven hundred dollars. They're not, they're not just making these. But I dare to say these are their most popular product because these, and don't let the looks fool you, for five dollars these are incredible sounding earbuds. Now, when I first tried these out, I was completely blown away by the first thing I'd like to talk about, the sound stage. These have massive sound stage. These have just very open design, sound leakage in and out. Don't use this on the bus, don't use this on the train. You won't hear a thing. But in quiet areas, the sound stage is immense and very pleasing. The mids, are very good on these earbuds. The acoustic guitar um, reproduction is incredible on these earbuds. The first song I listened to these, listened to with these when I actually got my hands on them, was Trains by Porcupine Tree. Now that song has a lot of acoustic instruments. It has acoustic guitar, it has the banjo too, and these reproduce them amazingly. Vocals as well, these are great for vocals. Um, Clear and thundering bass. The bass is quite clear, but I wouldn't call it thundering. I mean, obviously for earbuds, you can't really have that low-end um, sub-bass. The mid-bass is okay. It's pretty good. But you really want these for the soundstage and the mids and a little bit of the trouble, too. It's quite clear up there, actually, without being sibilant. Uh, if you use the full foam pad. Now, I've been advised to use the donut hole pads which are right here. It comes with two sets of pads. These give you better imaging and uh, better resolution apparently, but uh, the sound gets a little too bright for my taste using these, so I just like to use the full foam ones. A little bit more bass with these two. So this neat little package that you get in a little tiny little sandwich wrap gets you these earbuds. Now, the build quality. Uh, the plastic is not, you know, you can't really have high quality plastic on your earbuds. Like, that would drive up costs and you don't really need them actually. You need them to be nice and light and those are what these are. That is what these are. You put these on, you can forget about them because they're very comfortable. They just pop them in your ear, totally fine. The cable though, I like the cable quite a bit. These, this cable, it has Two, it's double, um, two wired cable, 
and the plug itself is not very flimsy. It's actually quite good, quite sturdy. I don't think this will, I do not think this will fray. And just generally, I'm really glad for the cable because another pair of AirPods, that I, earphones that I have has a really flimsy cable and really bad connector. So this is a welcome, welcome change for $5. I mean, I keep saying $5 and there's a reason because for $5, these blew my mind. So what kind of music sounds good on these? Acoustic recordings, live recordings. These will give you the this will give you the feeling of being in the audience. Um, a lot of classical stuff sounds great on these. A lot of classical rock sounds classic rock sounds great on these. But you don't want to use these for EDM. You don't want to use this for some kind of you know electronic music because the bass, while it's good for more rock or acoustic recording sort of bass. It's not good for like the thumping, thumping bass that you require for an EDM. Um, and for some pop recordings, these can get quite shrill in the vocal area. So you want to sound, basically you want to sound, you want to listen to stuff that sounds natural to your ears. You don't want stuff put together in a studio bit by bit and then thrown out and you download a really low quality mp3 with it and you're like listening to it and you're like damn this sounds terrible no you want a nice recording of a nice i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be one of those people who says definitely go for the analog recordings in the studios no not necessarily just a nicely put together sound not too much going on even though this does do very well with vocal layering michael jackson for instance sounds great on this but michael jackson's from a pop era which is long gone so you know just saying so acoustic guitars sound great on this acoustic instruments sound great on this but even distorted guitars sound great on this and this was actually what gave me the feeling that this is the grado sound grotto grado now if you're familiar with grado i did a review on them recently i have the sr80 eyes these are like the sr80 eyes in airboat form for much less in cost and much clearer. The SR ATI actually had a lot of distortion even in the mids, which gave it its very unique characteristic. This doesn't have that distortion in the mids. These are really clear. These are astoundingly clear when you listen to music um, which has acoustic guitars or mid focused music. Um, you want to you can just leave them in, forget about them, and you will drift away into whatever you're listening to. And that is something that I would never thought I would say for something of this price. Now, these are actually discontinued. <laughs> like, I'm sorry I'm making this review now, but these are like technically discontinued, the VE Monk. But when I say discontinued, I mean like this exact iteration isn't available anymore. But what you can get is the Monk Plus which is a slightly improved version of this. According to Lee, has better magnets, uh, easier to drive, like the ohms are different impedance. Um, but it'll be the same price. Now that is amazing. An updated version of this for the same price. That is an incredible marketing, if you want to call it marketing, if you want to call it business, if you want to call it charity, whatever you want to call it, it's just great for people like me who like to collect these sorts of things. Now, Lee himself has talked about this on uh, in social media and on the AliExpress, where you get these, by the way, you get these from AliExpress if you're in the West. Uh, my friend got them, my Chinese friend got them from Taobao, but he shipped them locally, so I'm not sure if they ship abroad. So AliExpress is where you need to go to get these. And it's a pretty good site, like I recommend checking it out even if you aren't interested in this. So. You get these for five dollars, with maybe two between two and three dollars shipping, so around seven and a half dollars. But for me, it's five pounds with shipping, so ten pounds because I bought two got me this box with two quality pairs of earbuds. Now Lee himself says that he believes in karma. He knows that he could sell these for quite a bit more in price and people would still clamor to buy these because of the quality. Like I, I'm quite sure that that is a reasonable statement because these sound way, way more than what you think they would be worth for this price. 
So he knows he can sell them for a lot more, but he keeps the cost at five dollars. Now he said it's karma. He wants to do good for people. He believes that if he does good for people, they'll do good things will happen to him. But I think it's more of a marketing thing, to be honest. I think you will be like I am right now. You will be suckered in by these Airbus for five pounds or five dollars, and you'll think, "Wow, I wonder what I wonder what I they could achieve if I gave them more money." So then you look into the seventy-eight dollar Asura, too, or you look into the hundred fifty dollar like. Zen too. And then you'll be sitting there thinking, "Wow, I wonder what they could achieve with more money." Well, I'm not sure what the answers of that because I haven't tried those yet. I've only tried these, but I much prefer this sort of marketing to product placement in music videos, guys. Like I'm just, I would much rather have this work on me, and it did, than like seeing billboards of this stuff. Like, and these are very popular now. If you go on HeadFi, you go on the HeadFi forums and you look for the thread of these earbuds, there's thousands and thousands of posts. Lots of fans, for good reason, of these earbuds. And let's talk about shipping. Yes, if you want to pay very little in shipping, you do expect that if coming from China, it's going to take quite a while to get to you. I think the system he uses for some countries are ePacket. And the United Kingdom is one of those countries, so I ordered mine on the 15th of March, like right after listening to them, like my classmate showed me his, and I was like, I need these. Went home, ordered two pairs. So I got them on the 31st of March. So it took, you know, took a while. But I ordered some for my friends in America on the same night, and they haven't gotten theirs yet, so... Your mileage may vary when it comes to shipping times, but this is something I would just, you know, spend money and just forget about it. Like, just, okay, it'll come to me eventually, and when it does, it's a pleasant surprise. So, just keep in mind the shipping time. I know some people are addicted to Amazon Prime, like I am, to an extent, and they want everything shipped quickly. Like, in America, it's free two-day shipping, but over here, it's free one-day shipping, so you want it to come to you really quickly. You'll have to be patient for these. But it's really worth it. Trust me, it's really worth it. Just a little bit more of anecdotal stuff regarding stuff I listened to with these. Uh, Led Zeppelin sounds great with this. Because even though it doesn't have much sub bass, it has a really good rumbling low end mid bass. So, John Paul Jones, yeah, I think that's his name, John Paul Jones, the bassist of Led Zeppelin, and John Bonham, the drummer them together they bring out a great these headphones bring out their sound great Robert Plant's vocals sound great on this and of course the guitars sound really expansive and great listen to a song like the immigrant song on this sounds amazing like it doesn't falter even one bit you will be hard pressed to find a problem in the recording if you're listening on these you'll be sitting there thinking okay these are five dollars there must be something going on okay I'm listening I'm listening Mm, mm, can't hear anything wrong you'll try because you want to make yourself feel like okay why could these only be five dollars when I've spent so much so much for these other things that I have well you won't find much wrong you will only find the limitations when you're listening to in my opinion EDM uh, electronic pop music and just overly processed sounding stuff that's when these will falter but for good organic sounding stuff these sound amazing there's nothing in this price range, I can beat these. I'm not. I'm pretty sure from any company out there, can't beat these in that price range. So, thank you for checking out my review. I've set up a Facebook page now because I like to expand my audience a bit. So please check the description and hit like on, on my Facebook page. Um, those who do follow me on Facebook will obviously know what my next review is going to be. It'll take a little more time, but it'll be quite worth it in my opinion because those are a stellar pair of headphones too. So, like if you like, dislike if you don't like it, and subscribe please, and I'll check you out in the next review. Cheers.